All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to get a whole bunch of different resources hooked up to our network of trade and everything that we haven't actually done before. Uh, we're going to get new stuff put in to circulation. We're going to start with tea. I think that's a good way to do it. Tea plantation is actually pretty easy. It just uses water every minute, and produces four tea, and construction is just concrete. So it's really nice, actually. We're only going to be able to add two of these at the moment because uh, Haven doesn't have enough people to really add any more than that, but that's okay. Uh, and also, if I take a look at what these guys need, they need tea too. So if I make them really comfortable, they'll have babies even faster. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Tea plantation, uh, again, just uses water. So I'm going to place the, the tea, I think, over near concrete is probably fine. We're going to go one and two. And of course, we're just going to need additional water to compensate for that. I do have the capacity to add an additional water pump in here. And I have the, the people for that is what I mean to be so mean to say. So there we go. So I have an extra water pump in there now. And uh, they can get their water from here if they'd like and uh, provide it to here. And then that's going to cover us for T. This is going to create eight T. And at the moment, these guys want to produce 4.92 per minute. So we have much bigger uh, production of tea than locally consumed, meaning we can export it. Now, we may not be able to export it in 100% of what we need, but we can export it. And that's good. Looking over here, too, we're running out of silicon. This is primarily because of shipping it. We are uh, shipping silicon out as well as computer chips. So it's actually really important that we keep going and make a lot more silicon uh than we that we need to produce for uh chips and i'm running out of sand so the remainder of the colonists at haven as they get born here uh they're going to be working in the sand pits for a while because i'm going to need to increase sand and increase uh you know silicon production at that same time all right so we've hooked up tea uh the next thing to hook up and we, we're not gonna be able to work it just yet but by the end of this video we will be able to is coffee and that's kind of the last thing. There's no other resource, as far as I'm aware, you know, to get, you know, with the coffee roaster and everything. Uh, there's no other resource in the game, as far as I'm aware, that we have not touched. So that's it. Uh, other than, of course, the helium three, which is what we're going to do right now. So over here on the dig, picking up right where we left off, this place off. We haven't done anything else with this. So uh, there's still 40 concrete over here. And I've added some health drinks over here and oxygen. So we're kind of ready for people, I would assume, but we don't have any steel. And unfortunately, this area here requires the habitats, which means we need computer chips over here as well as steel beams. Let's take a look at Outland here. Now, what do you have in stock? You have a ton of silicon, which is which is good um, because it means that the people who are trying to ship it to you, high ships, that means that the people trying to ship it to you uh, won't be dropping it off. And we, that means we won't be consuming as much on the other side, which is good. Uh, are you going to continue? See, every time I correct that and I tell them to land, they stop their trade route. It's a little meh. Um, I need steel, and we are just not producing enough of it. Look at this thing. It's getting consumed so fast. So I want to do like an analysis of that and figure out why we're... I mean, granted, we are shipping it around, and that's impossible... For me unless i'm going to go through one ship at a time finding them out and then hopefully not picking the same ship twice because there's no table for trade uh, it's kind of impossible for me to know exactly how much steel deficit i have like my system so the the trick is to just produce extra always you just go in excess for everything so that you always have everything green pretty much so i can make more iron and this is going to be what four eight colonists so i won't have enough to make another steel area do we have any iron and storage not much i need the robots I have one ready to get delivered there we go so we're gonna have seven surplus here we have now 61 robots and uh i'm gonna need like 100 more yeah i got 80 queued up that's good um but that means we're also just constantly consuming the the chips so if we were able to bank up chips, that'd be great. I am going to rob some chips here because we're going to need it for habitats over there on uh, the dig site. So I think I'm going to rob the rest of these chips. That just means that the robots will uh, have to wait just a little bit longer. I guess that's just going to have to be fine. And uh, I might actually steal the steel from them too. Steal the steel. Yeah, it takes 16 steel for this though, doesn't it? For these habitats. 
Oh, it's two steel beams? Oh, I thought these were more expensive. Why did I think it was 16? Oh, you know what? It's these. The automated depots take 16. And I kind of wanted that, too. I added an extra one right here because, like, our storage limitations were pretty bad. And so we'd get, like, what was it, like 70 or so health drinks, and it would just stop. I wanted to have 100 capacity for the resource so we could have even more health drinks. And we are way overproducing the health drinks now, which feels really good. If I take a look at uh, Haven and how much they have in stock, we should see that their health drink stock is maxed out at 213. And if we go over to Haven, sorry, we go over to Graveyard and look at their stock for health drinks. Uh, they don't have any. Wait a minute. Am I not sending them? Maybe that's why we're over. Oh, and that's probably why we're over. I'm not sending them anymore. Well, that's weird. Let's set up a trade route for that. Uh, I have a, I have spare ships, so let's set, set that up. Uh, so the chips, we're gonna we're stealing those. Yep. Uh, and then the health drinks right here. Let's pull all the health drinks here. Dump all these if we can. I guess this is just gonna have to do. Yeah, we're gonna take these health drinks over to graveyard. We'll dump the rest of these resources. Um, let's actually put the silicon put the silicon at the dig we can use it for solar panels and uh the potatoes potentially could go there too i guess okay so we could dump the potatoes there yep and then the silicon can go there and then the health drinks are already maxed out here so we're gonna send these health drinks over to graveyard and i think i'm gonna make that a, a dedicated path instead of um I'll, I'll have i'll send you health drinks and i'll bring back oil i think is what i'm gonna end up doing here with this um, so the trade route here will be starting at graveyard. We'll use this bay, uh, and this bay, we will pull in, I think we'll pull in the soy calf. Not a whole lot. We'll say 15 soy calf. I guess I think these guys wanted soy calf, uh, on outland. I think outland wanted it. Uh, and then also on this one. On this bay, we're going to have oil. We're going to bring oil in. So let's go about, let's say like 20 oil. And then obviously over here, we're going to have the health drinks. And we're going to say that it's zero. Okay. And then on this side of this uh, trade, we already have these uh, rocking and roll. Is this trade route really already put in place? How come there's two different locations here? Oh, what's going on with this route? Oh, and was this not a spare ship? I thought this was a spare ship at the time. I don't want Haven on this route. So we're just going to get rid of that. Um, yep. And then over here, we have the soy calf and the oil. So we want oil here. And we dump that. And then we want soy calf here. Yep. And we dump that. And then this is fill it up and bring it over to graveyard. All right. That's your new route. Do that instead. By all means, start over here. That's fine. Okay, so that'll take care of that problem. But uh, we still need to bring the resources over to the dig. And uh, the dig requires computer chips. That was the other thing I wanted to bring. All right, so you are bringing steel and computer chips. We'll bring a little bit of steel. We're going to need more than that, though. But it's a start. We'll bring these computer chips and the steel over to the dig. We're going to start getting helium-3. That's our, our secondary objective today. We are going to supply the Zima reactor with helium-3 and build a research lab here to figure out what the heck this is. Definitely want to do that too. That requires the beams and the computer chips and the energy and all the, all the things. So dump that stuff in here. It's, we got a ways to go on that. And then uh, still can't uh, drop, drop off the rest of this concrete, but that's okay. We'll just keep that here for now. And then this ship, you're going to go to Haven, I think. I think Haven has pretty much everything we need to bring back to the dig. Because it's it's loaded with resources, man. Haven is doing real well now. It's it's like the place to be for everything I need. It looks like we're overproducing flour. We need to produce maybe a little bit more bread. Let's analyze that for a second. So the bakery, each bakery uses two flour per minute and produces two bread. We're obviously shipping bread around, so we want to make sure we're doing abundance there too. This is asleep. That's probably one of the reasons. There we go. Let's wake that up. Because I, I built these in proportionate to their supplies. So like I dropped these bakeries on a two to one ratio to the fields, because that's what you're supposed to do. 
Uh, and then I had one going to sleep, and that's probably why we're over on flour. So this should now balance it out. Very good. And we can expand that to more bread if we want to, but I'm going to wait on that for a little while. We should be great on milk now too, right? Yep. So there we go. The tea consumption is, is fantastic. And now we can try to do the coffee consumption over here. So for resources, the coffee plantation, just one of them is going to uh, require four colonists. I'm going to do co coffee over here too. Mm, you know what? Let's leave tea. Leave that for tea. And coffee can be something else. We can put coffee like over here maybe. It just requires us to have even more storage uh, over here. Storage depot. Let's put another storage depot. Uh, can slap this. Maybe uh, I'll do it over here. Something like that's probably fine. And then uh, obviously it's going to need water as well. So let's go ahead and make sure we get water pumping over here. Just so these drones can easily access it. I'm not entirely sure that matters. To, I'm, I'm going to be frank with you. I don't know if it matters if you have these like really close together. But what I do think is, well, one, this area right here is useless to me otherwise. So we might as well just do it. But I do think since I'm adding farms, I'm going to need to add more water production anyway is where I'm going with this. So yeah, coffee plantation. Once we have the workers, this will work itself out. I'm going to leave this space. It's going to leave it open for more uh, cows. But actually, I'll just go above. It's fine. So coffee will be uh, one, two, and then we're going to go three and then four. If it'll let me do it here, that'd be great. It does not. Okay, I was going to end up doing it down here then, I guess. Eh. Tell you what, let's, let's get rid of this one. We'll start with two for now. I guess it's fine. Uh, this is going to produce four coffee beans. So we're doing eight beans total. And then the coffee roaster, it, it's a one-to-one. -one. Okay, so we want two coffee roasters. We're going to place this right next to... Uh, apparently you're not going to allow me to do that. Uh, that's a, what a jerk. <laughs> All right, let's move this and coffee roaster. Wow. Yeah. You really won't let me do that. All right, cool. Well, we'll just do it that way. This is going to add coffee, but we need to have more colonists before they'll really be able to do it. And these guys are stuck again. Which one's trying to leave? You are, you're trying to come in. All right. Well then just park. Uh, let's see. So how about we grab. Yeah, additional steel. Um, don't need additional concrete here. We don't need any health drink stuff. I wanted to have microchips. Yep, let's bring some more computer chips in. I'm gonna take all of them. Yep, I think so. And that's gonna be it. We'll bring a little bit of silicon too, I guess. They're bringing this to the dig, so. So lots of computer chips coming to the dig now. And this is a trade ship. So it has an existing route. We're going to have it continue on its route after we bring this stuff to the dig. So I am guess I'm borrowing a not free ship to do this, which that's kind of what happens when they hang up on each other. I could have used this one, but yeah, whatever. Um, okay. Now I'm curious if I can actually expand oil in the dig too. I don't know if that's a thing. So the only resources I can do here is iron factories can be steel. So I can expand my steel production over here if I so choose to do so as well as plasteel plants. But of course I can't make plastic here. So I'd still have to ship plastic here, but that would allow me to have another robot assembly line. We could have the dig be a hundred percent robots. We could, then we don't need to supply all this with all the survival resources, right? If we make everybody a robot here and that's it, then there's no need for oxygen or health drinks or potatoes. None of that stuff's needed. It's an idea. I already have an existing population of robots, a thriving population, might I add, over here, although there's no microchips over here. I'm going to drop a few of them off. I think I don't need that many microchips over here. So we'll add like this many. Yeah, we'll fill that up there. We'll fill the steel, get more of this and let's drop the rest of this stuff over in, uh, in outland cause it can really use it. And then we'll just have you continue your trade route from there, which the trade route is pick up steel and we don't have enough of it. So I'm going to have to alter your trade route anyway, so that you don't pick up that much steel. So I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to have you only pick up a little bit more steel, not a full load. We're going to say that you want to do about, let's, let's do like 20. 
20 is fine for what we're doing here. Yeah, 20 is fine. Okay, so you go ahead and continue your trade route now. It's fine. Uh, dig, are we ready? Let's do this. Uh, habitats, which again, if I'm doing robots, I probably don't need the habitats, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to do a couple of habitats, I guess, uh, right here and here. That gives me capacity for what? 16 people? 16 people. Okay. The research lab is going to take 12 energy. So let's make sure we're doing solar panels. That's what I brought the silicon for. And we'll put that. Uh, oh, is this the top of my build? Oh, I can't build over. Oh, I can't build over there. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, this needs to be a more visual indicator. Like I, I dropped it all the way over here and I can't even build over there. That's that's that sucks. Well, uh, okay. I guess the solar panels are gonna be here. I mean, I guess it does let me build on this rocky surface. It just doesn't look like you should be able to. But it does allow it, so I guess that's fine. All right, so we'll build you guys just like that. There we go. That's that's enough for now. 48 power is pretty good. Uh, next is the research lab that requires just the colonists. That's fine. We're going to put the research lab right over... Uh, wait, I want to... I should be able to build it even if I don't have the colonists. Oh, I can't build that close to it. Wow, this whole thing is off limits. Okay, you can see it. There's kind of a circle. You can kind of see this little dark circle area around it that doesn't doesn't require me or doesn't allow me to build there. It's hard to see. Some places it's basically invisible, but I can see that defined right here. So we'll just stay outside that circle. It still doesn't work though. Hmm, that's interesting. I guess I have to build it close to this. All right, I guess. There's that. And then... Uh, from there, it's the helium for three harvesters and eight steel beams for each one of these things. It's going to produce two helium three each. Ooh, these things look cool. Oh, what in the world is going on here? Wow. Okay. So we'll go like, I think we'll go like this right next to this. I'll just, we'll just say one. Come on now. Cooperate. One, two, three. Oh, I don't have any more steel beams. I was going to do four, but that's fine. So three of these will produce. Uh, I guess we're going to be producing six helium three per minute once we get the colonists in here. And then we should be able to. Uh, I really can't top off any more concrete, can I? Does anything specifically take concrete to build? I'd love to do that other than the plasteel plant. It's really uh, they're most likely going to require. Well, I thought they'd require water, but they don't. It's just oxygen and health drinks, which, you know, we've got plenty of health, oxygen and health drinks for now. So I think we're kind of set for colonists here. Yeah, we'll just bring them in. Uh, looks like we need uh, about 30 of them, probably. Uh, we, we only have we don't have housing for that many, so we're not going to bring that many right now. But, you know, I think we're going to need. Well, each one of these requires what? Four. So four, eight, twelve. And then this thing over here wants another two. That's 14. And then I want like six more of these. So, but right now for 14 is good. If we fill up the housing and the habitats and stuff, then we will have enough to work the existing buildings that are here. So it's like a nice little base, pretty much. That's good for me. Uh, again, for these, these routes, just go, just, just get out, get out. <laughs> okay. Just, oh my God. And then I have to tell it to continue the route, right? Overlays go. Okay. And then it just teleported i think it just teleported it did it just teleported to <laughs> hey that's the fast way to do it huh that's the fast way to do it right there look at that wow i've uncovered how to teleport everyone there you go i figured it out now you know who needs to travel this long distance when you can just instantly be there <laughs> all right let's go to outland and yeah, we have a 19 colony surplus here, which is perfect. We're just going to borrow a few people. Okay. Uh, provided of course that we can add additional steel to our, to our network here. So, uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. There should be seven of these. There are, so we would need to add one of these and then two more of the iron mines to really get this wrapped up here for steel. So I'm going to do that. 
Um, I wanted to do it right here. Yeah, it, it lets me. There it goes. Uh, and then I wanted to go resources, iron mine, one, and then two. So compact. Looking pretty good. Last thing to do is another automated depot in this area just to add more storage and more drones to move things around. That's what I'm wanting, right? There's fine. Okay. So I think we're pretty much done with expansions to Outland. It is in a good state at the moment. If we had more plasteel being created, more steel being created, which we do, um, sorry, uh, microchips. If I was making more of this stuff faster, it could get a second robot assembly line. It does take a lot of labor to do that though. So we'll probably wait until there's a lot more robots to work and to build the robots. We'll have robots to build robots, right? In the meantime though, I do want to get the colonists set up on the dig. So let's just bring uh, about this many is fine. Dump the dump that in here. I want to get more silicon so that we can add more solar panels over there. So let's make sure we have like an even number there. That's fine. Uh, and we'll bring a little bit more steel because we can a few more health drinks because we can. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, you can't bring can't bring more than three things on a ship. So there we go. All right, bring that over to the dig. And then these colonists will already have what they need to survive for a little while. But then obviously this ship needs to be entered into the trade network to make sure that they have a constant supply of the things they need to survive from there. Uh, okay, so colonists are here. Great. Now we can look for a way to get this artifact. We can draw up some plans for a laser guided excavator. A laser guided excavator by attaching a giant laser to some movable scaffolding. We can carefully remove the rocks without damaging whatever is hidden underneath. We'll need lots of power for this laser. So maybe build an extra fusion reactor as well. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, a fusion reactor would be good here because we're already generating helium three. So it just consumes helium three to produce a lot, of, a lot of energy. And so realistically, we don't need the solar panels. We can just use this, but we need helium three to start this. So uh, this is like, hey, by the way, if you run out of helium three, we have bare bones going right now, but we will have helium three uh, coming in pretty soon here. I, I will. I would I think anyway, we're about to see that resource appear in this list and uh, we can get a feel for like how fast we're actually generating it. So we already have two. That's enough for the reactor to start right there. So all we need now is 12 steel beams and 12 plasteel bricks. It's very expensive. We also need the research to going. So how about this to the research lab? Yep. So this is the dig. Yep. And the dig requires a whole bunch of stuff. 12. Uh, <clears throat> we have, we have actually had the engineering points. That's cool. So plasteel bricks and steel beams pretty much need to go back to outland for that. <clears throat> Losing my voice here today been doing a whole lot of videos for you I'm trying to do as many as like I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do like it would be awesome to be able to make like eight a day there's not enough hours in the day to do eight a day it's just not possible all right some of you guys maybe if that was 20 I could probably handle that but not not my 30 almost 37 year old self I'm not into eight hour days straight talking no thanks <laughs> my social battery does not last that long uh 32 steel plasteel bricks. We're going to just rob you of all your bricks, I think. Yeah. And your steel. Yeah. Uh, and your oxygen supply. No, we're not going to bring that. There, there's enough survival resources over there to last a very long time. So I don't need that. Um, maybe, maybe the potatoes. We could top off the potatoes, I think, because they need those for food. Preferred meals and stuff that they want to bring. All right. So we'll bring that stuff up. Here we go and go back to the dig over here and then uh an outland this is an extra ship no that's just your your health drinks it's taking a full load of health drinks so how much is left in here 26. so let's check back with this i want to see how fast we're actually accumulating here so we should see this going up pretty fast we should anyway um and these guys just to clarify they don't need water to survive they need the health drinks so as long as we are, if we're drained in water, that's okay. I would like to bring more water here faster, of course, uh, but it's okay not to have water here as long as we have a good amount of these. All right. And then the water is also used in, um, well, I thought it was used in something else, but no, it's used over here. Water splitter. Yeah. yeah, yeah To make oxygen. 
so without water we also drop an oxygen supply as well and i got a feeling we may not be producing enough oxygen so this is two oxygen so a total of four is what we're producing here and currently we're consuming 2.38 we are definitely consuming wow man these two tiny buildings produce twice the oxygen necessary for this entire camp that's pretty good of course we just robbed this thing of no we didn't because I changed that to 20. yeah that's good the other trade route I probably should change that to 20 as well oh well all right so drop the steel off more potatoes there we go and plastic steel is all in there so can I build it now there's the dig all right 12 steel beams eight concrete three engineering points six plastic steel bricks two silicon two computer chips and a partridge and a pear tree here we go have that right there uh so I think this ship what are we actively consuming ongoing right we want to bring helium 3 over to Zima that's where we want to ship that right and we need to make sure that this camp gets a steady supply of oxygen and health drinks so this ship should go uh I think if I launch this back up there uh, oxygen and health drinks is outland um so we can add outland to this trade route as long as we can produce enough oxygen I'm a little worried about not producing enough overall but I think we're all right uh bringing health drinks here is a additional strain on the system additional water will be needed uh maybe since we have robots doing this now we could add some additional water production water production here though again is very expensive I think I would much rather again just send ships and bring water here with ships instead of having all of this we don't need to locally produce this much water it's so many it's so many workers to do this I'm gonna pause I'm, we're gonna we're gonna shift this we're gonna move a bunch of workers away from this whole process here we're gonna move them over to Haven, produce all the water there, and ship the water here. It's just gonna be more efficient. Because this is, I mean, we're two water per minute in each of these, hold on. Yeah, two water per minute. And so it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 per minute. But if I can ship with the same number of workers, mind you, if I can ship 40 water here per minute, that makes up for it so I want to try that so let's take the ice grinders away two of these ice grinders away I might be screwing up everything right now we'll see <laughs> uh take all these things away take this away take this away take this away okay we're gonna just gut the entire water industry here I can just hit delete can't I sure can they taught me that at the very first time the thing they taught me in the game <laughs> yeah all right so with all of that gone we freed up 59 workers, all right? That's pretty dang good. And I should be able to take this ship, which has nothing on it. We'll bring it over to Outland now. Now, this camp is gonna just be drained of all of its water now, but I'm gonna take 40 workers with me. Let's take, let's take even more than that. Yeah, we'll take almost all these workers with me, all right? All of these workers are gonna go with me, along with all the steel beams, are going to go with me to Haven so that I can make even more water over at Haven. So let's just get that happening. Now, there's a chance that this place runs out of the uh, the drinks because, again, we're shipping the drinks out. So all these ships are going to rob them of their drinks. So I really do need to hurry here. When I, when I drop these guys off, I'm going to pick up that water in this ship and I'm going to ship it back over here really quickly with this boat, with this boat, with this ship. We're gonna wow are you actually getting hung up in space guys guys what are we doing here are you out of fuel holy moly you are uh you having a problem there buddy <laughs> what's going on yeah uh, and he's teleported <laughs> okay okay i got it. i got it it's fine all right here's all the workers we're bringing it down to haven and this thing's gonna yell at me pretty soon here i think but i think i can get them back faster I think I can get the water back fast enough. So let's dump. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, pause. We need more habitats. We need a lot more of these. So let's get 
uh, some additional camps here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. That's 64 capacity increase. So we should be able to dump all these guys in here now. Okay. And then all the steel as well. And then we can use those guys. We're going to need more wind turbines because we're going to need a lot more power for what we're about to do. So let's do that too. Uh, hello, you want to come back? Thank you. And then these cost steel. So let's not do too many of those unless we need it. Um, so resources, water pumps. We're going to add additional water pumps through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 14 water. I need to add like 40 water to the system, basically. Because I'm going to be sending a lot of water here. So and I should be able to do that with the number of workers I just brought back. There we go. Even more water. Yep. There we go. Mmm. Drink it up so much water we're going to want to get a storage depot here too pretty quick anybody have chips you do dump those chips back in real quick it's paused so he's gonna take them right back but it's paused so it'll let me do it now give me another storage depot in here for the drones i want those drones to be moving moving around that seems good okay what i've just added is like 40 water into the system 40 water into the trades this ship i keep doing it stop hitting space <laughs> i am never going to stop because that's muscle memory for you right there yeah so this thing's gonna rob the chips again but that's okay i just i did what i needed to do uh we're a little bit low on power again so let's take and spend the steel there we go there we go all right now we now have a 24 worker surplus that's good. I can add more water just to really make sure we have so much. Like, I need to have so much water for this. This is the water planet. It is going to have all the water that's provided for everyone because it's so cheap to produce water here. I want to take advantage of it as much as I can. All right. Wind turbo, wind turbines one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a plus 62 on power now. So let's go ahead and put it in. All right. That gives me enough power to expand the industries more if I need to. But that should give me what I want for the water capacity. All right. Now, again, I don't know how fast we're actually going to be able to build water here. But I'm hoping it's much, much faster than over there. Like, I want this ship taking water to Outland to be faster than Outland producing water itself. And that frees up all those workers to come over here. And that was the whole point. I want to have Outland kind of be self. I, I want it to be robots. Okay. That's what we're doing here. So I'm going to grab 21 water here real quick and take this back over to Outland because it's probably like bare. It needs it so it can produce those drinks now. So we're going to bring that over here. And then we're going to set up a trade route with this ship that is taking basically two full bays of, of water. Uh, so 80 water per trip is what I'd like it to do. But it's all about whether or not it can handle it or not. So I should see the water supply ramp up really quickly here. So I'm, 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 I'm crossing my fingers on that. The excavator is ready. Make sure the laser, laser beam has enough power and we can start the dig. Okay, we are gonna, we're gonna do that as soon as I get the water situation sorted out here. You're taking one chip. Yeah, and I really gotta, I gotta pump up my numbers here on the computer chip stuff like I, I need a different I want a different location for the computer chips I've decided that computer chips and silicon and stuff need to be somewhere else I think I'm probably here probably move these buildings to be right here I think that's a pretty organized place for them I don't think it's going to get in the way of the tea plantations much speaking of which we can probably add more tea so right here another tea plantation can go but I think that's in range God, that's close it may not be in range I might have to move this a little bit. We'll see. If it picks it up, then good. If it delivers water, then good. If it doesn't deliver water, then we'll know. Um, yeah. Let's do... I'm, you know what? I'm going to do one more. Let's let's just do it kind of like this. Another tea plantation there. And then up here, we want to do coffee. And coffee will be... Yeah, we definitely need to change the positioning on some of these things. 
Oh, we'll do coffee there. And then we have to add another one of these storage depots. No big deal. We'll put it right here. And yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's not... I don't want it to get in the way of the farms, but it's kind of have to. Yeah, it's going to have to get in the way of something. So we're going to do it there instead. That should provide to this. I don't think it has to reach the building. I think it has to reach the center of the, the structure. That's what I'm hoping anyway. We'll see. Now, this is a one-to-one -one ratio, so we want to have the factory also be added. We'll pop that in right there. All right, so now we're down three workers. No big deal because our population is growing pretty fast over here, so it'll we'll be correcting that in no time. But these guys are now going to have every resource they want. Haven is going to be completely taken care of as soon as we can ramp up coffee and make that all good. All right, back over to graveyard really quick. You guys are good. You're going to have to have your bread delivered, which you know might happen as soon as these guys stop dancing with each other. Come on now. Come on now, guys. Yeah, lift off, and then this ship needs to have its route restored. Right like that. All right, back over to Outland before they die. Water in. Okay, so now they're going to use that water real quick. It's going to be gone because they're not producing their own water anymore. But the ships that bring water over, this is going to be one of them. So I'm going to bring this over here. I wish there was a command with trade similar to what I have with workers and resources where I could tell them to wait until loaded. God, look at that teleport done. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the ships in this build, but it's fun watching them just zoom, <laughs> like travel slightly slower than the speed of light to get over to the extra, the other planet. It's awesome. All right. Yeah. Boom. Done. He's there. <laughs> it's almost like they're on a schedule and the fact that they're tangled up is kind of like preventing them from moving on their schedule. But as soon as I untangle them, they need to like make up for lost time or something. It's kind of cool. All right, Haven. First thing we're going to do here, two bays of water. All right, two bays of water is what you're going to do. And that's the replacement for what we have over here. Okay. Other resources we can bring. Well, we could bring milk, you know, something like that. Um, let's just for now add this so we can get that working. So this is zero, of course. This is zero for... Uh, uh, zero and that should get that ship to move to bring the water here but what else do you guys want it's the tea yeah they just want tea so we can add tea to this as well so we'll go ahead or find that ship here it is and we will add tea 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 tea, tea. where is my tea where is the tea i'm probably it's probably staring me right in the face and i just don't see it it's right here we can add tea. Let's say you bring, I don't know, 20 units of tea. All right. Bring two, bring 20 tea over here and dump it. And then actually over here, I want you to bring something back, right? It makes sense to bring something back. So is there anything of value to bring back? Well, it would be the health drinks usually, but um, we're kind of good on that right now. So I don't really need to bring that back. So I would say robots, but no. No, we don't really need to bring anything back. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, fill it up. Whew, that was close. I don't think it was actually close, because if it had already left the station, I wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, yeah, the, the button goes away. I can't actually do it anymore. So That's not that close, actually. Uh, all right, so T is, yeah, here, and we want to empty it. So that's just going to be the route that it does. This ship now replaces that entire water industry on Outland, and then some. We're going to be able to bring 80 water every trip, uh, and then if it's still not enough, then we'll fill that third bay with water too, because we have enough water production to do that. I'm super confident we do. Look at this. It's already full. We definitely can afford to send more water to anywhere we want. Any, any place that needs water, we can produce it entirely in Haven because it's just super easy and super cheap to produce it there. So there's no reason for this place to ever have low water. It's at, it's full. So that's good. And then Outland should never have low water either. But any ship that's going to Outland carrying water, I can now tell it to carry even more water. So these these ships right here, uh, so you're carrying water, right? So I'll just tell you to fill the, both of these up. And then on this side, for your trade route, you'll just yep, keep it empty on this side. You're filling it up with steel on this side. 
and bringing steel back over here and that's okay um as long as you're you should be able to empty this with water now you should be able to and you're also bringing chips back which is cool okay dig whoa 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 dig hello dig look at this thing yeah giant laser shit look at the size of this thing alien artifact something is buried here digging it out might be interesting or we could leave it just in case <laughs> uh, alien artifacts under alien skies that's what it's all about okay so are we ready then um i'm not sure how to do it do i click the excavator yeah right here okay so clicking here is the artifact clicking out here is where the excavator that's why i can't build here that circle that little line i saw it's an outline for where this goes that's why it wouldn't allow me to do that all right i get it i understand and actually it's just it's a square really you know so i'm building this as close as i possibly could have to this laser let's start digging takes 240 seconds to build uh, it's going to take a lot of power as well remember so uh if we have the resources to do so and we may uh at this point i want to have the fusion reactor this is going to cost uh, it's going to take produce a lot of power right so we're just going to put a fusion reactor right there a fusion fusion reactor right there all right and then is there any spare ships at outland not right now um tell you what why don't we make another ship shouldn't be too difficult to pull that off but we don't we have a bit of a worker deficit at the moment we can just pause really quick free up the workers uh there's no point in doing that we might as well shut down something else shut down the iron mines instead because like this is making us workers I don't want to shut down worker creation to get workers for this when I can just you know let my iron supply take a snooze for a bit because we have iron in storage right yeah we're up 70 surplus on that so let them snooze for a bit it's fine uh and then you can start back up again to make more fuel since you uh since we're using the fuel you can start back up again and then yeah, again I'll just just have you snooze for a bit it's fine uh but I need a spare ship so that I can have things brought to the dig as well I need uh I need colonists to be brought here they're not enough colonists here although could they could they organically grow we have stuff brought here right could they no they won't do that until like, they get to tier two I think because there says there's it's zero time so I maybe there's not enough genetic diversity here <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Haven yeah we're maxing out on water we're, we're fine on water I'm, I'm feeling confident about that plan for sure all right so this ship is doing nothing cool 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 uh, we'll take some of our spare colonists uh yeah just three didn't it need four I thought it needed four. Oh boy that's not what I want to do uh cancel 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 <laughs> yikes uh yeah I want this, I want to be able to type a number in here honestly this would be really great unless you're going for a console approach then whatever but I would love to be able to type things in here these guys will also eventually want tea I saw that in the in the list there so we'll bring some tea over to the dig as well why not we can do that let's bring like 20 you can bring like 25 tea 30 tea 30 tea is good uh and then was it potatoes I don't remember what they wanted what do they what do they want over there what do you guys want tea potatoes microchip okay so it's basically the same thing as, as outland all right so all the bare necessities of life we will send uh health drinks let's let's get another supply of health drinks over there too because we can uh the tea we'll just max that out that's fine and then uh any more we just had another birth over here so we'll go one more uh, you know what seven is fine these guys will get replenished real quick no big deal let's launch this we're gonna go over to the dig now with this ship and and get there now the whole point of focusing on the dig in this video is so that we can get helium 3 brought over to zima so this ship when it's done delivering this stuff to these guys I'm gonna set a trade route for this to bring helium 3 over here and then we're gonna see it'll be the end of the video then we're already 45 minutes in jeez you get lost for time when you're playing this thing but uh we're gonna see what's underneath this at the end so don't don't go nowhere okay 
Although I feel like with average watch time on YouTube videos and me being able to see like all those de juicy details, I'm pretty confident that if you're still watching at 45 minutes, you're going to be watching at 55 minutes. It's the people who leave like 30 seconds in that screw up the watch time. <laughs> or like watching at like two times speed all the time. All right, I'm going to do this. Uh, looks like I'm going to need even more habitats. Gross. Oh, I have the computer ships for this. It's going to work. We'll add uh, right there. Okay, now I can drop in the remaining two workers. Three workers. Done. Okay, I have everything I need. We are pumping out so much power now. Oh, it looks so good. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Figure out what the heck this thing is. It takes 240 seconds to build, it says. It's going to cost me all my workers. That's okay. We'll pause all of these. There it is. Achievement. Laser power. Oh, look at this thing go. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to watch it. Don't you? This is going to take a while. 240 seconds. It uses 160 energy. Definitely needed that. And uh, 12 colonists. What's our supply of helium 3 right now? Oh, okay, 40. Okay, you're going to take helium 3. You're going to take helium 3 with you. Yeah, at least 40 of it. That's fine. You're going to take 40 of it, and I'm going to rob this place, I think, of a few chips as well, just in case that camp over there is going to need them. There we go. All right, we're going to... I'm going to pause it. I don't want to miss anything. We're going to pause this. I'm going to lift off. I can't lift off and pause at the same time, right? Yeah, this is, that's not how it works. Okay. All right. But now, now I'll pause. I'm going to set up a trade route with you. And uh, what we're going to do with you is, well, the first thing we need is for you to empty all this stuff. But I, the, mostly what we're trying to ship is the helium-3. So we're going to have helium-3 built up here. Okay. And I'm just going to have this be empty. It's fine. And then come over to Zima Blue you're going to deliver this stuff. That's that's all I want the ship to do right now is just to deliver helium three. So that's what it's going to do now. Go. Okay. So now we can watch this all happen. It's going to start its route here. It's already full. It's fine. Did you just... That is what I told it to do. <laughs> that is what I told it to do, isn't it? Okay. Well, hey. I'm just he's just following orders don't yell at him okay he's just doing what he was told fine my fault whatever come on drill you got this what is it gonna be it's like a little like a pyramid of some kind kind of looks like my uh well I have a an interesting Rubik's cube that's this shape you know it could actually be a Rubik's Cube. Just like triangular sides, you know. It's some kind of prism. There's mysteries. There's mysteries in this game, man. I want sounds. I like, we got music. That's cool and all, but I want sound. Like, the laser needs to have sound, right? The ships need to have sounds. I want to feel this place. Bring it to life. You know, like if I shut the music off... Is the game silent without the music? Is it completely silent without the music? Yeah, man. You gotta have sound effects for this stuff. Come on. You gotta have it. I'm look I, I demand sound effects. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what my audio volume used to be. Uh, Alright, that was easy. I don't think the artifact was originally buried. Artifact excavation report. Over time, enough dust collected around it to bury it completely and whatever it is it's active <laughs> all right so uh, alien artifact on trappist 1hii the artifact uncovered on rocky 2 is shaped like a, like a hexahedron a double-sided pyramid we can't get an estimate of the age of the artifact from the artifact itself the regolith suggests that the artifact was not originally buried but rather dust accumulated until the artifact was completely covered that must have taken an extremely long time Parts of its surface light up, suggesting that it's active. We can't tell if it was always active or only recently reactivated. We detected no other emissions in the electromagnetic spectrum. But we did notice some disconcerting gravity anomalies. Could the artifact be generating gravitational waves? <laughs> oh boy. Well, 
we think the artifact is generating gravitational waves. Indeed. With a gravitational wave detector, we could precisely monitor these waves. Okay. It says, imagine all the space-time... Imagine all of space-time as a pond. Now throw a rock in there. Most of the time, we're like small ducklings bobbing up and down with the waves without really noticing them. It's only when the most precise measure... It's, oh, sorry. It's only with the most precise measurements that we can detect the existence of gravitational waves. In 2015, the LIGO and Virgo uh, gravitational wave detectors were the first to directly observe a gravitational wave caused by the merger of two black holes. Yeah, really far away. Our detectors have improved, but because of the energies involved in creating measurable waves, we might never see a practical application. Boy, I, I like how you've put real science in this game, huh? I appreciate that. Yeah. Let's get these guys back online so we can get that helium-3 pumping. There we go. All right. So this base really doesn't need this reactor anymore. I don't think. But uh, hey, we do have... Uh... Oh, I thought we had to build the gravitational wave thing. Is it already Is it already a thing? Oh, it's already a thing. Cool. Uh, 32 energy, one colonist. Surfing the information highway of the space age. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to put this over here. Uh, we're going to sit it, stick it right over by the research thing. Why not? Right here. Done. We built it. It won't take long to analyze some of this data. All right, cool. Do I need to research again, or... I think it's just going to do it. Wow! The artifact is definitely sending a message through gravitational waves. Encoded signal. Uh-oh. It'll be tough to decode the message. Encoded signal. It says... Well... I was going to say it's completely binary. Right? And it's like, okay, I don't know binary. Let's decode. But there are twos in there. There are several twos in here. So that is not, not binary. Uh, that is something else. Looks like we're going to have to decode the signal in the research lab. And now we get to run the research. So decode the signal. It says math, uh, two mathematics points, one astronomy point, and one physics point. Start the research. We are going to do that. Now, I am going to reveal what that is in the next video because this one's getting long however i really do want to get done with zima here so let's come back over to zima and uh we've already done the drilling and we have helium three i don't know how to deliver that though so if i come down again how do we deliver the helium three to this is there a there are instructions for that i wonder supply the reactor with helium three i mean i have like i have the helium three um let's maybe i actually have to have people here I, that's probably what it is i have to actually have people here so let's let's actually have people here for a second um and we could we could start the drill again i, I guess maybe does, does that do anything if i start the drill again it says it's it's, it's got z's so i don't know if that's it uh, Research University. Oh, oh, what's this? Develop the most advanced technologies. Wow. And I can actually build this. I just need the colonists. Hey, this is interesting. Wow. A university, huh? The most advanced technologies. What kind of technologies are they? They're the advanced kind, of course. Well, I'm going to build this, even though there's no way I can staff it right now. But that's pretty cool. So when I get more colonists here, we'll just, uh, they can go to school. Okay, cool. More pioneer camps are needed. Anything else? Uh, ice drill, we did that. Shipyard. I don't see anything that can, maybe the storage depot can do it. I don't know. I mean, every time I highlight this, it seems like it moves and something's going up and going up and down. Wait, is this, is that how it does it? Does it, does it take it? Is the drill taking it down there? Maybe I click it? No? We can tap a small portion of the generated energy for our own use. Yeah, I just got to figure out how to get that in there. I don't know how to... I mean, I have helium-3 here at the base. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to do it. It looks like we've decoded it before the end of this video. The artifact is relaying real-time observational data about this solar system. I think it is keeping an eye on us and telling uh, and telling whomever built it about us. Decoded signal. All right, we'll read it in this video. 
uh partially decoded gravitational wave signal so new arrivals detected uh-huh type zero basic 2a21 configuration no habitat adjustment needed okay and where are they the gravitational waves are directed but it's hard to tell where to with two additional gravitational wave detectors we could triangulate the target the three detectors need to be spread around the Trappist-1 system to do a proper triangulation. So put one right here on Zima. Why not? Uh, all right. So unless it tells me a specific planet to do it on, a signal detector can't reliably tell us what the direction of the wave. To do this, we with any precision, we need three detectors spaced as far apart as we can manage. It is recommended to place each detector on or around a different planet. If necessary, the detector can also be placed on a platform in space. Oh, yeah, sure. You just put it on the on the arc. I like it. Maybe that's where we'll put the other one on the arc. But I can build it here, is what it was saying before. So like I have this. I just need to bring the plasteel bricks here. It shouldn't be too hard. We're pretty much full on those. Uh so that will be uh how we continue this mystery next time. Next video, uh, we're gonna figure out how in the world to bring that helium three down. It's not immediately obvious to me. I'm sure I'm probably just overlooking it or overthinking it, but not immediately obvious how to bring the helium three down under the ice. Um, and then, yeah, we just basically bring the, uh, the plasteel, which we actually don't have a ton of anymore. I thought we did, but we don't. Here's an extra ship. I have an extra ship right here. There we go. All done. That's good. And we have many, many more robots to bring. We have 42 over workers, 42 over here now. So I can bring all these workers anywhere I want to the dig, to Zima, back to Haven to make more water. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.